Well, it doesn't affect me as much as you might think because I'm a, I'm a part. I this is what I do. I mean, I'm involved in partisan politics. It's it's like um, it's a red and blue team. I'm in the I'm in the red team. It's it's like Duke Carolina. I'm always going to be rooting for Duke. I'm never going to be rooting for Carolina. And it's the same kind of thing. Um, it is. I'm a comp- I'm a competitive person. Um, I love the competition. I love the 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 campaigns and then being able to figure out on election day whether you win or lose and, and everything that goes into it. Um, so the partisanship to me is is it's a natural way of, of, of working. Um, I work with a lot of Democrats. We, we do a lot of projects with Democratic pollsters and Democratic consultants. And I thoroughly enjoy that. I mean, I, I love that stuff. But when it comes down to what I do for a living and uh, politics, I'm a hardcore partisan. I just, it's just, it's, it's like you're a Duke fan you're, and you'll never be a, a Carolina fan because you're going to be a Duke fan. And I approach it the same way. I'm a Republican. Um, that's my profession. I love it and I enjoy it. Yeah, they, uh, politics in the U.S. has changed dramatically. Um, I mean, even the polling industry has changed more in the last six or seven years then it changed the first 20 I was doing this stuff. So it's, it's changed dramatically. It's um, the amount of money that's being, that's being spent in politics with the super PACs. And it, it used to be in, in campaigns, I'd run my campaign and you'd run your campaign, the best campaign went. And so and I got to control my message, you controlled your message, we raised money, you raised money, and we go at it. Now it's like, you bring all your friends, I bring all my friends, and if your friends have deeper pockets than my friends do, I'm, you know, I got to figure out a way to win. It's, it's, it's much different, much different in terms of the amount of money it's being spent. And now, with the analytics, with the, uh, you know, the, the way you can back voter data into, uh, into like every kind of, uh, into behavior, into Facebook, um, it just it changes how you how you contact voters. So it used to be that you'd buy what was called a thousand gross rating points of TV, and you'd send out some direct mail, and that's my campaign. And that's just not the way campaigns are run nowadays. So it's it's changed dramatically, and it's been fun trying. To, it's fun, it's fun keeping up with it and trying to to stay in fr- in front of it as much as possible. I'm not sure it's local ticket splitting. I think what um, the extreme polarization um, does impact the ability to get things done in the country. No question about it. Um, I think that that um, we've seen it. We've seen the impact of that. It's not good for the system, but you've got to have politicians who who are willing to work together, and uh, and you've got to see strong leaders. I mean, Reagan was a strong leader who who got Democrats and Republicans to work together. It's these are these are unique leaders um, in the current the way the current current politics are now. Um, it's, I think it's going to get worse before it gets better, unfortunately.